A former Montana Tech football player is making his impact on his community, and he's doing it with a pair of clippers. And I just wanted to bring this type of barbershop because I knew that they were missing this in Montana. Missing what Kevin describes as an experience beyond a haircut. Oh yeah, it's a VIP experience. An experience that involves making sure no one leaves the shop without making some sort of connection with someone else. I try to introduce everybody to people, even if like it's our first time coming, I might just introduce you to them just just to bring the community together. And his efforts seem to be paying off. The business owner believes his services go beyond a haircut and helps people feel good about themselves, especially now in a time where mental health has been a serious issue due to this pandemic. When they leave, they're going to feel good, better about their self. Uh, cutting somebody's hair and getting a nice quality haircut uh, could go a long way. Kevin's business has come a long way, and he thanks the community for that. They cut the MSU football team in the locker room before that game. So that gave me a lot of exposure and uh, led some of the athletes that go to school here. Kevin is the only licensed black barber in Bozeman, but he says his community doesn't make him feel any different. I don't really uh, see myself like as a minority in town or anything. I just, um, it's just about who the person is and uh, what they bring to the table. And regardless of a person's race, background, or social status, this barber says his doors are always open. When I moved out here, I didn't really have too much experience cutting different type of hair uh, coming from like New Orleans. So uh, it was great to be able to move out here. A big diversity that comes into my barber shop. Um, I cut all all nationalities, uh, all ages. Kevin's shop is located in Midtown Bozeman and he's always open to new faces, but you have to make an appointment first. Reporting in Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News.